What's the children? leading cause of death amongst children in this country? And I'm going to give you a hint. It's not drag show readings to children. Correct, yes. So what is it? I'm presuming you're going to say it's firearms. No, I'm not going to say it like it's an opinion. That's what it is. It's firearms. More than cancer, more than car accidents. But when it comes to children that have died, you don't give a flying f to stop that because that shall not be infringed. That is hypocrisy at its highest. John Stewart on his show, The Problem with John Stewart, you can catch it on Apple TV Plus. Uh, that was the back end of his conversation with this Oklahoma State Senator Nathan Dom, who's a big supporter of our Second Amendment rights. No matter what, no matter who gets murdered, boy, do I want more of that. Well, as he broke this whole thing down for him uh, and cornered him like this, let's watch the process, because I love these types of things. When Stewart then tried to explain to him how this maybe could work and how he doesn't believe in the America in one instance, but does in the second. Watch. Registering is an infringement. Yes. Okay. Is voting a right? It's a right for citizens, yes. Do you have to do anything to do it? Yes. What do you have to do? It depends on the state. What do you have to do? Sometimes you have to be, you have to be at least 18 years old. What do you have to do? And Keep in going. some places you have to uh -huh. have a government issued ID. What do you have to? You have to? You have to be on the voter rolls? Register. You have to register. You're the, because you're the one making the argument, not me. I'm saying even rights have responsibilities and that within those responsibilities, responsibilities are responsibilities yes. and order, otherwise it's chaotic. The hardest thing in these types of conversations is trying to convince someone like this of the other point, which I think, by the way, they do know. So that's the other part about it. They're never gonna wanna admit it. So you can't tell them, you have to make them tell them so they can sound like it's coming from them. And suddenly they go, wow, maybe. But obviously, uh, this state senator, Mr. Dom, doesn't want to do that. So John Stewart continues more. I'll go you one further. You want to ban drag show readings to children. To my house, yes. Why? Why, why? What are you protecting? Why can we prohibit children from voting, those under 18 from voting? Why are you banning, also that? Is, is that free speech? Are you infringing on that performer's free speech? They can continue to exercise their free speech, just not in front of a child. Why? Because the government does have a responsibility to protect. I'm sorry? The government does have a responsibility uh -huh. in certain instances to What's protect children. What's the leading cause of death amongst children in this country? And I'm gonna give you a hint. It's not drag show readings to children. Correct, yes. So what is it? I'm presuming you're gonna say it's firearms. No, I'm not gonna say it like it's an opinion. That's what it is. It's firearms, more than cancer, more than car accidents. And what you're telling me is you don't mind infringing free speech to protect children from this amorphous thing that you think of. But when it comes to children that have died, you don't give a flying f to stop that because that shall not be infringed. The hypocrisy is what he's highlighting. It's on 1000 here because he makes him say this is the hardest thing when it comes to one of these circular conversations when someone doesn't want to admit the reality because it would de uh, destroy their argument. The government's, uh, the, the government's responsibility to protect, and he said, oh, I can't say kids because we definitely don't protect children when it comes to firearms, which is what we're talking about here. And I can't say that because I actually love my firearms more than I love the lives of these innocent children that continue to be slaughtered. And forget children since you hate them. How about other adults? You know, Republicans get shot too. You know, white folks get shot in case you're of that variety of folks that want to talk about the best people in the country. So. Is it, uh, is it protecting children or is it protecting your guns is the question, Dan? I mean, it is horrendous and I've been talking a lot about how in a lot of ways the right wing has you know, gone in this full on assault, borderline genocidal against the LGBTQ plus community, especially the trans community and a lot of these southern states to basically make it in law and society and practice that it is, you know, not wanted for the existence of this. That I'm glad that John Stewart, someone who had some incredibly problematic and terrible um, jokes in the matter in the past on The Daily Show, is doing a lot of this restorative justice by, um, making amends for some of those worst bits that he's done in the past by putting these politicians who are very directly right now causing these issues for these groups and forcing people to see the hypocrisy, the lies. 
Now it's a matter of the action because I've also seen John Stewart go to bat and literally go in front of Congress and talk about 9-11 first responders and victims like that. I wanna see this fire plus Apple TV plus. I wanna see this kind of fire on, you know, in content and you know, viral videos that you know fulfill his contract Damn. with Apple. But also I wanna see the progress. I wanna see him in Congress getting just this heated, um, making sure that he's fighting for transgender rights across the country too. I can't say I watched a lot of the Daily Show, even to now to back in the day. What jokes was he telling? I'm totally curious, but this is something new to me. I will not repeat it on air, but he used to, you know, say he used to like make fun of, you know, potentially queer politicians and not say it and say like, oh, this is chicks with D or like he would have all these really transphobic weird jokes that okay, like yeah, the early 2000s was a weird different time, <laughs> absolutely. Exactly. But I mean, like I listen. We, on the other hand, you have Bill Maher, someone who was problematic back then, is even worse right now and is not doing anything about it. I'm not gonna defend Jon Stewart on everything he does. I don't watch the Apple TV show all the time, but I think he's one of the rare people who I've seen. Maybe he's acknowledged it, maybe he hasn't, but he's actually doing a good job as far as going, okay, I made some really messed up jokes in the past. I perpetuated a lot of these stereotypes, these weird feelings and this transphobia in the in the past. I'm going to go hard in the paint against all these transphobic politicians in the present. And that is, I think, a remodel of restorative justice for people who may have realized, oh, I've perpetuated racism or sexism or homophobia or transphobia in the past. Okay, acknowledge that, recognize that, and fight 10 times harder against it in the present. That is what I appreciate Jon Stewart for, at least in this month's instance. Well, I learn something new every day. Uh, good to hear, uh, Dan. Because uh, as we've seen in some of those images, also he's fighting in Congress and stuff for firefighters from 9/11 that have been getting, uh, you know, the middle finger from many Congress uh, men and senators about relief and help. He's been vehement about that. So he's definitely been on the map as far as his advocacy and his activism uh, for folks that get screwed over quite regularly by our government.